Hey guys, welcome to another example. And in this example, I'm going to show you how to compute after tax cost of debt. Right? And in this example, you are trying to buy a 60,000 worth of a luxury car. And you have two options to finance this car, right? One is auto dealer. So you can go to auto dealer and ask for a loan. And the second option is you can get a second mortgage on your existing home. So here's a second a mortgage. And if you go to auto dealer, they are going to charge you 3.5. 75% interest rate and if you get second mortgage on your home the interest rate they are going to charge you is 4.62% right 4.62% so now the question to you is which one source of financing would you choose and we assume in this example that you are in 28% income bracket. That means you pay 20% income tax. So which option would you choose? Right? All right. Let's see. Can you guess? Auto dealer, right? It's 3.75% way lower than 4.62 home mortgage. Let's see. So the trick is this, if you go to auto dealer and finance your car through auto dealer, right, then it's after tax cost equals to its stated uh, interest rate. That is 3.75% because the interest on the auto loan is not tax deductible. That's why your cost of financing this car is 3.75%. 75%. What about second mortgage? See here, the second mortgage is a tax de deductible. So if your car loan is tax deductible, then what was the after tax cost of debt then? Here, after tax cost of debt always equals to before tax cost of debt times 1 minus tax rate. So before tax cost update is 4.62%, 28% the tax rate, so 1 minus 28%, and if you simplify that, the interest rate you get is 3.326%. That means after tax cost of debt, if you finance this car through a second mortgage, is 3.326%. Now, it's a BS, right? Which one would you choose? So, auto loan costs you 3.75%, whereas home mortgage, uh, second home mortgage loan will cost you only 3.326%, right? So, which one would you choose? Nobody's stupid, right? So, everybody will choose the second mortgage loan option that's why finance makes you smart if you didn't have this finance knowledge maybe you would not be so straightforward to make your selection all right guys i hope it makes sense thank you